we found a, a great way of, of linking Paper Moon puppet theatre's practice with our own practice. Um, whereas they tend to look at stories from history and past. We tend to focus on a fictitious future or possibilities of future. Um, and so we worked from those ends and then we met in the middle in the present. We got invited by Fed Square to do commission in Light in Winter Festival. And in the same time, uh, City of Melbourne invited Paper Moon to do collaboration with Cake Industries. And so we had not met each other before. We had been in Indonesia, me and Jesse, uh, working on another collaboration uh, last year. And we meant to meet up with Paper Moon then, but we didn't. But we got a chance to work with them uh, this year, which has been amazing. And then we met them in the first time. All we want to do is everything's about food. So you just keep cooking, you know, cook and then they cook for us, we cook for them. So that's actually the first blending, beautiful, best language that we started from stomach, because for us, stomach is the closest part to the heart. So it's definitely how we started. And then we keep throwing ideas and what do you like, what we like, what is our inspiration, what becomes their inspirations. So that's actually blend everything together. It's totally new for us because we, we are basically we are a puppet company, so we work a lot with puppets and performance, and they are working a lot with technology, you know, media art, something like that. So it's really new and refreshing for us. We were trying to find common threads which stitched everything together so we could find something to link to. And what we found uh, were common themes of past, present and future. There was a really big time element based in a lot of the ideas of Shrine, whether or not it was honouring something from history, or whether or not it's something that we're thankful for today, or whether or not it was something hoping for a future. These were common things that we were seeing over and over again across different cultures. So we, we have a gathering with community and then we start to decide what kind of shrine that we will make, and then we start to make a sketches and talk with the cake industries and Paper Moon. It's nice to see because this area is pretty busy area. People never stop in this area. And now we built these three things and now you can see how people really take their time, stop there, take a look each detail by detail, discussing with their friends, seeing little kids running around to see what will be happens next, you know, like it's it's very amazing to see how people would love to spend their time. Well, we hope that this tree installation brings a little warmth in these freezing months. Hope you enjoy it.